President Chartrand, a uh, spokesperson for the Métis Nation Saskatchewan, put out uh, or, or commented to us that this isn't a, a sanctioned event by the majority of the Métis National Council and, and not the meeting that they had called for. Uh, your thoughts on that? Well, let me start off by firstly thanking Dennis and AP10 for being here. Uh, I think it's important that uh, people get to see these discussions that are taking place in, on all the uh, APT land uh, across our nation, uh, understanding the um, implications of what it is that we're talking about. And if you look at those individuals that say, I heard the president speak that this is not a general assembly. It is not a general assembly. It's a, it's a meeting, an informative meeting for people to understand the discussion that's so pivotal right now amongst our nation that's probably causing a divide in our nation about Métis Nation of Ontario citizens that they now call voyageur Métis, which are not our citizens, but are being allowed to be Métis Nation Ontario citizens of a nation, of the Métis Nation. So this informative meeting that's taking place here is really sets the stage, I think, for people to better understand. We have local leaders, we have uh, provincial leaders, we have national leaders, but we also have citizens themselves, families that have come out to hear and see what's happening. So it is very, I think, uh, set forth the pathway towards we need, while well, we need to address this, look at it, because I think people, as we said in some of our speeches, this is going to affect us not only 10 years from now, 20 years from now, probably 50 years from now. So these decisions that we're making now is going to have a long, long impact for the next generation, and we, need, we make, make sure we get them right. You're uh, the national spokesperson for the Métis National Council. You mentioned the divide. Do we have this gathering going on? Métis Nation of Ontario, Saskatchewan, Alberta meeting in Gatineau. What does this mean for this planned AGA and the election of a new president for the first time in a, well, a generation? For me, Dennis, the, the first point is that why would they go to Gatineau, Quebec, if they knew we had a meeting here March 9 and 10? We called a meeting before them, and it's a proven fact, and I asked them to show me a document anywhere that they publicly called the meeting March 9 and 10 in Gatineau, Quebec. They cannot produce a, a document document of that nature. So we had called a meeting that they demanded a meeting, so we gave them one right in the heartland of our nation in the prairies. And so March 9 and 10 was properly selected for them to attend. Instead, they said, well, no, we had a meeting planned in our minds that we were going to have it March 9 and 10. They could have made revisions if they wanted to. But why in Gatineau? Why didn't they have it here next door somewhere in another hotel and then they could come back and forth to the two sessions or have it the days 11 and 12 so we can have a proper discussion. We would attend those meetings. So, so from that perspective, you look at it, it's very important that this information session that's coming and happening right now where the people are entitled to come and listen, need to understand if we're going to have an election in April, we need to decide where does Ontario sit in that process. If Ontario is allowed to continue to bring all of those people in, which they call the voyageur meeting now, which they're just voyageurs, French Canadian, Algonquin, Ojibwe connected, not to us. If they are allowed to sit at the table with those five votes and affect the nation and making decisions from non metis nation citizens, then we have a problem. We need to have an assembly that first debates the issue. Is MNO suspended? Is MNO part of this process? They want those answers. Let's have an assembly dealing with that. But they're saying we will not have a meeting unless MNO is treated equally, has the votes. If we have a board of governors, they must vote equally. And so all they want to do is outnumber the process and then change the process, change this in MNC, change this bylaws if necessary, or change the process of, of policy. So this can't happen unless we debate as Ontario in or Ontario out. So just a, a quick answer here. Is the uh, election of a new president going to take place next month? I'm hoping it takes place in April. And uh, But before we have the election in April, we need to debate Ontario. Is Ontario part of the Métis Nation based on the fact they're breaking the, the process of our definition? They're not abiding with the definition? And our people loud and clear here have basically stated they need to follow that rule. So if we don't have, we can't have election until we follow it on, and debate the Ontario issue. And once that's happening, I am hoping, by crossing my fingers, we will have that debate amongst a, a general a special assembly, then we'll have an election of our president. President Chartrand, appreciate your time. We'll send it back to Melissa in Winnipeg.